Hunting mule deer is a very different experience for someone who grew up hunting whitetails in the heavy forests and swamps of Manitoba. Everything from the terrain to the way the deer run is completely different, but in many ways you practice the same techniques and ethics. After five years of putting the Alberta draw system, I found out in July that I was successful in drawing a tag. It seemed to be a distant thought then, but as the fall drew on and guiding and hunting kept me busy, I suddenly found myself with only a couple days to pack up and head west with my Uncle Jeff. I spent the last couple days double checking my gear list and reminiscing of the last trip, where I filmed several family and friends harvest some great deer. And then on the evening of the third, we headed west. That's our first morning here in Alberta. Nice big flock of snow geese and off in the distance. But well, we got here at 2.30 last night and uh, the drive actually went pretty quick, but uh, we're all ready to go for our first morning. We slept in a little bit to catch up on some sleep, but it's a nice weather, cool. No snow like last time, but we'll be able to get around everywhere. Saw a nice buck on the drive last night. Only saw one deer, but it was a nice buck, so you know, things look good. Be nice to actually be able to pull the trigger this year, so we'll see how day one goes. Day one was very much what we expected. A late start due to our early morning arrival, and we missed the first light feeding time. We still covered lots of ground and managed to find some good deer. Like it's gonna be an even better day for weather. Nice and clear, frosty, cool, perfect deer hunting conditions. You can see the uh, clouds look like they're gonna burn off. It was foggy as hell when we woke up, but the fog's gone now too, so we're about ready to take off. I think this is a morning we're probably gonna see a good amount of deer bopping around, so looks good. Yeah. That's a big two pointer, that one down there.
The start to day two was just amazing. In the first hour we had already seen more deer than we did in the entire first day. We hadn't quite seen anything that we wanted to try and take just yet, so we decided as a group that we would head to a different area and see what we could see. That decision paid off. As we moved through a big set of coolies, my cousin Seth noted the back end of a deer going behind a hill. My Uncle Jeff and I decided we would go check it out and see what it was. We literally just stumbled right into a jackpot. This big buck was making his way towards us with every step. He had no idea we were there and the wind was in our favor. All we had to do was sit tight and hope that he was going to give us a good shot opportunity before he spotted us. As soon as you said that the deer, and I looked and I saw him go down, I thought that's a buck. I couldn't see his antlers, but I just the way you hold his profile. I... Yeah, I didn't see antlers either. But as soon as I got around the corner and I saw him, I thought, holy crap, that's a pretty good buck. <laughs> Good buck. He's got good. Tilt his nose towards me a bit. Just there you go. He's got good length up on his upper split, say. Yeah. Nice bit, deep forks. Too bad this one's not here. He's pretty good. I thought I thought he looked perfectly even when it, when he was walking to us there. Yeah. I thought, man, he's a nice four by four. Technically five, I know it'll come out of yeah, here. He kept, coming times. he kept coming closer. That was <laughs> I was like, man, he's not even he doesn't even see us. He's, he was one fifty on that first shot, eh? I could figure, like I said. About that. I just held the two hundred yard mark on the well my scope set to two hundred a little high, so Wait until he wasn't skylined and yeah i thought well i don't want to shoot the first shot i used to shoot and i think well i don't know what's over there anymore and then when i saw him but then i thought well he's gonna walk right into that little coolie in front of us 